Threads will always be a fascinating story to me. How a company like Meta can have all of this money, all of this research, know exactly what to make, and still mess it up will never cease to amaze me. The day this video was supposed to come out, Threads turned one year old, but I genuinely don't think anyone knew or cared. Why? Because this app died in less than a month. So I decided that even though this app is on life support, let's go back to it a year after everyone left and see how it's really doing. And right off the bat, I was surprised. Threads is number two on the app store, and for a dead app, that is pretty damn good. I don't know if the app store charts are worldwide or just based on the country you're in, but no matter what, it's beating TikTok and Instagram itself. So I'm already feeling a little bit more confident that this thing might not be dead. Before I downloaded it, I made a list of three things I wanted to see with this app. Number one, is it active? Now, obviously it is, but what I mean by this is, is there a community on the app and how tight is that community? If you use Twitter, you know that things get referenced over there all the time and you're kind of just expected to know what the reference is it's kind of like everyone's in on the joke over there second thing i wanted to see was is the content on threads any good that's another basic one but a platform does live or die based off the quality of its posts and then lastly i wanted to see if threads had any features or things that could distinguish it from twitter or even had features that it did better than twitter in my opinion this is the biggest thing on here because when Threads launched originally, despite Twitter kind of being in a shitty place back then, they still fought back by adding features that would change the shape of the site. The biggest ones being monetization and the For You page. Both features that kept people from leaving Twitter and moving to Threads. So with all that in mind, I went ahead to download the app and threw my burner account on it. And immediately, I had a lot of issues with it. I hate the way Threads is laid out. I'm gonna go on a really nerdy user interface tangent for a minute, but let's just look at Instagram real quick. Its user interface by modern standards is pretty simple. The main content, the pictures, is front and center, very visible to the user, with everything else accessible by either swiping over or tapping at the top or bottom. On Threads, they try to use the same tactic of putting the main content in your face, but for me, the issue arises with the type of content on Threads. Instead of it being pictures and videos that are supposed to be shown in large formats, they're taking text and displaying it in sizes that make it feel a little uncomfortable. I haven't figured out exactly how to explain this yet, but when you compare threads and Twitter side by side, I feel like it gets a little bit more clear. On Twitter, posts are more compact and minimal. Everything on there is a lot more snug, and the way they do it keeps posts from feeling forced or shoved together, if any of that made sense. A really good example to show is whenever someone is quoting a tweet that has a picture in it, you will still be able to see the post that is above that one. When you go to threads though, all that space on screen is taken up by one post with media and then the post on top of that one. So to simplify, on Twitter, you can see three posts in one frame and on threads, just two. I know that was long-winded, I know it really wasn't necessary, but the graphic designer part of my brain just hates shit like this. It feels like I'm seeing too much and not enough at the same time. It just really reminds me of Windows 8, and that's all I really need to say about that. Another issue I had was the way the algorithm on Threads worked. Now, in their defense, the account I used on Threads isn't my main Instagram account, and the reason why I used a burner instead of my main account is because Instagram tells everyone and their mother that you've made a Threads account, and since this app never really popped off, having that notification in somebody's account is kind of like having a kick me sign on your back. So yeah, what I'm getting at here is that my Threads algorithm only has whatever the hell I liked from my burner Instagram account on it. And that means there's basically nothing on here, which is a huge contrast from Twitter because that has everything on there. A problem I have with Instagram and by extension Threads is that they have the world's shittiest content discovery system. On Instagram, that doesn't really matter because most of the content you're seeing is from people you know, but on Threads and Twitter, that matters a lot. And on Twitter, their recommended system is pretty good at showing you posts from regular accounts who aren't trying to make money, mainly because pre-last year, there wasn't really any point in trying to make money on Twitter. But when you go on Threads, and I'm being serious here, you'll notice the same thing. It is very sanitized feeling. Definitely in comparison to Twitter, where you know you can find a video of people fighting like two seconds after you make an account. Once again, that was all over the place and long with it, but to put it in the simplest terms possible, the Threads algorithm is a shittier, less active version of the Instagram Explorer page. It's a lot of stolen memes and brand accounts, making it very hard to find real people who you know 
aren't trying to make money off views. And believe it or not, somehow there is still one more issue I had. Keep in mind, this was all in the span of like five minutes of me using the app. The trending tab kind of just sucks ass. Instead of being a page of popular posts or topics, it's more like a page of popular news shit, at least from what I saw. Like sure, news topics may be more important than random internet stuff, but who's really on here to read news stories? It also only shows five things at a time, which once again, very weird. I have gripes with Twitter's trending page and how it works, but even that shows like several different topics and even sorts them based on your actual interests. But that's it for my first impressions. Yes, that was my first impressions. They were all bad. After that, I proceeded to actually browse threads. And now that I have, we can finally circle back to those three questions I had at the start of the video. Is threads active? Apparently, yes. In fact, pretty recently to me writing this video, it was confirmed that threads had 175 million monthly users. But personally, I don't believe it. Like, I know it's true. They have no reason to lie about that but I still don't see it. Like I was saying earlier, it's just really hard to find people on threads compared to how easy it is to find people on Twitter. And I think that really came down to the sites having different types of users. Sadly, it seems a lot of the users on threads, aside from being those corporate meme accounts, are just mundane influencers or all around tech bros or people who made an account because Instagram told them to, but don't actually do anything on it. That was another one I saw. So yeah, it's active. But is it connected? No, not really. The second question, is there good content on threads? The objective answer here would be yes, because there is good content on threads. I follow a lot of aesthetic accounts on there and they all post pretty good shit. Same goes for the historical type accounts on there. Uh, it may all be ripped from Twitter, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. So on the surface, threads is pretty solid. But actually diving into it, you start to see the effects of what I was saying about their user base. Because Threads doesn't have a strong community, they don't have similar posts to what you'll see on Twitter a lot. Twitter was and still is where a lot of memes and trends come from. And even while making this video, I found tweets that made me realize this more. The random kind of unexpected humor style that rages on Twitter does not exist on Threads at all. And if you use Twitter, no matter what side or part of it you're on, you know that is essentially the life of the platform. So is the content on threads that good? No, not really. You can find all this on Instagram or on Twitter. In fact, a lot of what I saw on threads was just posts from Twitter. It's basically a hub for cross posting. But hey, all of that could be excused if they successfully tackled our last question. Does threads have any features to separate itself from Twitter? This is an easy one. No. <laughs> I even looked it up just in case I was wrong, and yeah, they just don't have anything. The search tab said, what's unique about threads, and Google told me, the ability to block people. What? In fact, I was even more surprised to see that they don't steal features from Twitter. For a while now, there's been this communities feature on Twitter, and it's basically like a Reddit clone, but without Reddit users. It took some time for that feature to really pop, but now there's a ton of solid communities you can join, and even if you're not in those communities, you can get their posts recommended to you. This was something I was surprised to see Threads not do. The main benefit of Twitter communities is community building, something that is grossly important to any platform, but especially a new one. Overall, I don't understand the point of Threads. If anyone who seriously uses the app regularly can answer this, I'd love to hear it. But if Instagram wanted to make a Twitter competitor, why would they make it worse than Twitter? I never understood that. I've seen they want to keep it safe and all that, but a lot of the point of Twitter now is how it's a lot more of a raw type site, you know? Even pre-people being openly racist and shit, it was still very lenient. And once again, that leniency contributes to the culture of the site. What's the point of getting people who use Twitter to use a shittier version of it, missing all the things they like about it? I have never seen a fumble this bad before. Twitter was dying literally dying. Elon was running out of money, no one wanted to be there, and Instagram was charging to pull the reverse card of the century, easily at that. And then it just didn't happen. I've seen some people appreciate the atmosphere of threads. They say it's lack of toxicity makes it more fun and enjoyable. But to me, all that sounds like is, yeah, I live in a ghost town, it's really fun. Like yeah, walking around a dead mall, for example, it can be fun, it can be relaxing, but at the end of the day, it's a dead mall. It's failing at its purpose, 
and you can say the same thing for threads. In the end, I think I've said everything I really needed to say. There were other rabbit holes I wanted to explore, but I spent so much time talking about how the damn thing doesn't work, I basically just run out of energy to even go do those things. So in conclusion, threads is diet Twitter. It has no personality, no original content, and worst of all, it has no passion behind it. Say what you will about Elon, but that man is an avid Twitter user. It may be running on Tesla, buddy, but at least he gives a shit about that platform. Threads has the vibe of being made by people who wouldn't use it. It was made for a commission, not for passion. That's it for me, guys. I probably destroyed my chances of this video blowing up because it's late. Sorry about that. Blame my job. But subscribe for more. Uh, I probably won't be making another deep analysis type video for a while on here, uh, mainly because I'm sick of just hating shit all the time. I've been grumpy for like three weeks because I keep writing thousand word essays about how much I dislike stuff. But I will get back to telling stories on here. Um, if you like that, stay tuned. I said it in my update video, but a lot of the stories I had, I've been saving for now. So um, it shouldn't be anything too boring, I hope. Um, at worst, it'll just be a story of me being kind of dumb. But for now, that's it. See you guys.